everyone. So now we're going to go through some training about maximizing your business through a Facebook Live. What we will cover in this training, the benefits of using Facebook Live, how to create your own photo live filter, some things to think about first, how to plan your live, going live, things to include in your live, building a massive following, do's and don'ts, and some top tips I've picked up along the way. What can live do for my business? The benefits of going live. Live creates the ability for customers and followers to really get to know you. You're able to express your personality by doing this. Being able to show products and sell the benefits and watches, being able to see themselves, not just taking your word for it, so actually being able to physically demonstrate the product and you know, for the customers to see a sort of idea of size and you know what sort of consistency, maybe a cream is, things like that. It's really, really gonna help you sell more products. Being able to engage a large amount of people at the same time, audiences build very, very quickly online and they allow us to reach large amounts of people. It can build your customer base in its own right. You will find customers who will buy on a live continue to buy mainly from live. So what I mean by that is, like when we build a customer base, our catalog customers tend to continue to buy from catalogs. Our online customers, tend to continue to buy from our groups and you'll find the same your live customers will continue continue mainly to buy from your lives if you use facebook regularly it will contribute to your facebook reach so facebook really really like um, any interaction of any sort but they particularly like you using their features and they love you using their live feature um, so they will sort of, it's like a bank account facebook as we know so when you pay in you know, you get more out of it. So it's gonna limit those times on blocks and bands as well. Being able to have fun with your customers, it doesn't feel like you're working and it really, really doesn't. It really is sort of like, um, in my group, I call it the trauma party every night. It, it, it is just so much fun once you get into the swing of things. It can build you a massive following very, very quickly. It really, really can. And the key thing to remember is, you know, that be ready for possible quick results. Some take off very, very quickly, some consistency will build it, but it can just go boom overnight. So first things first, let's go through and how to create a Facebook filter. Now these are really, really, really exciting and they're able for us to bring our information to any photo or video that we broadcast. First of all, to get started, you need to make your banner. You need to think about what to include in your banner and choose really, really bright colours to make sure it stands out from any background that you've got on your picture or your life. Be really mindful of the size because you don't want um, the banner to obstruct your, your face or what you're going to demonstrate. Um, apps like Picolage, Photogrid and PicMonkey for the laptop, they're all great to make these types of things, to make these banners. Creating your filter. You need to make sure that you have trimmed your banner photo to make sure all the edges are neat because when you're overlapping images, sometimes they can be untidy around the edges. If you've been using a phone or tablet, you need to change your image into a JPEG file. You'll need a laptop or desktop to be able to continue with the next step. If you need to convert your, um, your banner into a JPEG file, it's just as simple as email it to yourself and opening that email up on the laptop and saving it to your files. So the next thing to do is go to the website in step three, uh, www.facebook.com FB camera effects slash home slash. So this is what that particular website looks like. It's linked to Facebook, so you'll need to scroll down when you, you get onto the landing page until you come across this year said Frame Studio and click Create Frame. Now, bearing in mind, you need to be doing this all on your laptop, okay? Because it doesn't, the next step won't work on, I've got an iPad Pro, it won't work on, on, on those devices, okay? So what you need to click next is upload art in the top left corner. Once you've uploaded your art, you can upload it, you can take a picture or you can upload it from your files. So once you've uploaded your art, I haven't been able to do it on you because I've actually taken these screenshots from my iPad Pro, but you need to manoeuvre your image 
down so it sits neatly at the bottom so you're still going to see your face if i continued with this you wouldn't be able to see my face when i used it and as you can see here it gives you previews of all different formats and how it would look there's some um also some down on the drop down bar here on the left there's other things you can do bring to the forward bring to the front and you can have a little play around with it and things like that but make sure you click shrink with width and shrink with um, length and also if you double click on the image you can make it translucent translucent you can make it see-through so it will sort of show up any images behind it so after you click the next button you'll come to this now the name is really important now I chose some of this with mine to name my photo filter um, or my frame okay as the name of my selling group which is the glitzy girls parlor okay you need to go ahead and put your name in the box then select set a date a start and end date okay now it's really important to make sure you tick that box because if you put make active right away it'll only stick around for a few days but if you click set start and end date and you can go up for a year in advance so you can really keep this on for long periods of time you're not going to have to be um, updating it every month or whatever so as you can see, I've done mine, I've set mine up there. The next one is really important. Let me just go back two seconds. Let me just show you. You also this keywords as well. I missed out a little bit by it. Keywords, keywords are really, really good because it allows people searching for a filter to possibly find your, your filter, right? So for mine, I sort of put um, glitzy girl, makeup, demos, um, all that type of really girly stuff in there my keywords to make it easier to find for other people to use it and also for my customers so they're able to use it when they want to send me a picture of a product that they've used so date in there created a name and the next thing is you need to select an owner okay now selecting an owner is really important if you've already got a business page all right you can select that business page as you can see i've got a couple and um, you can select that business page as the owner all right now i've chosen in this instance to select myself but there's no there's nothing saying that you can't come back and do this again and select your business page and have two running so as you can see there there's my my keywords just there and then next and then it's going to give you a preview so obviously your banner is going to be set down lower this was just an example and you can see here my schedule i've got until the first of september any location which means anyone can use it anyone at all and the keywords glam demos glitzy girl when you click publish it will automatically upload itself into your facebook camera okay so that's it done you've now created a frame slash photo filter for facebook so things to think about moving forward create a brainstorm of what you want to bring to your lives answer these questions are you able to push your comfort zone how would you feel about getting onto a live guys and, and, and sort of putting your face out there you know to hundreds maybe thousands of viewers how would you feel about that would that be something that you're willing to consider could you do demos and tutorials on yourself how do you feel about learning about makeup if you don't already know a few skills, watching a few tutorials on, on YouTube and showing the products and showing how you make a face or showing half a face of makeup and half without or doing a daily sort of vlog using live, using a cream so you can sort of um, showcase the difference that the cream is making. How would you feel about that? Would you show just your hands that I start off with? There are a lot of people who are very successful at this now who have only started with just showing their hands and their product with their voice talking over it and that works really really well and if you if you're not you know as brave to go out there straight away with yourself then maybe just consider just showing your hands because you need to get amongst this because this we believe that this is going to be a massive massive sort of um bow arrow in our in our bow with this business would you like to do live games like bingo and things they absolutely love bingo you mentioned that you're playing bingo on a live and it gets shared around all right then you're going to have at least 50 to 100 viewers instantly just because they want to play bingo now there's a few ways to do it 
you can either sell physical tickets off and take a photo and send them to that person, message that person. The way I do bingo is as people are coming on, I ask them to choose five numbers from between one and 90 and I use a bingo, randomizer bingo, bingo caller on my phone to call them out so you're not there too long and the first person who gets the five wins the prize. Other ones I've played um, uh, higher, higher or lower, like um, play your cards right. That one that goes down really well. There's things like spin the wheel and all these different things that, that you can play and people just love. What would you give as a prize? You need to think about, you know, would you give um, a certain amount of spends to spend with you? Would you give a free sample pack? Would you give a box of chocolates I've used quite a lot? Scratch card, all these little things. And, you know, little, little things that cost a small amount of money and you build up a few things and it's gonna make your life quite epic and, you know, really attractive to prospective viewers. So have a think about what your best asset is. My best asset is I'm really good with people. I, I'm really, I'm a very, very good talker. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm sort of, I like to have a laugh and a joke. I'm quite fun, okay? But have a think about what your best asset is and how you think that you could, you could bring that. Have you got beautiful hair? You know, that have you got sort of, a wrinkle-free face at like 90 <laughs> and you can say you know luckily this is really doing this to my skin think of what your best asset is whether it be personality physical how you organize things how you put your stamp on things and make sure you bring that whatever it may be to the party when you get on your live because that will only help you reassure yourself of the confidence because you've already sort of um, acknowledged your asset how can you play to your strengths like I've just mentioned on the above point, you know, <clears throat> on a live, being a talker and liking to have fun helps. Um, so yeah, so if you're really, really good at something or you're really, really confident in something, then, then play to it and make sure it comes across. And what will you bring to the party that's different? So what can you bring that Joe Bloggs in a different company may bring? So have a little think about that. So, okay, so now it's time to plan. So have a think about what products will you show? Okay, really important, make sure that they're, they're there, all right? And if you're planning a future live and you've mentioned, I'm having a face cream on next week, make sure that it's in stock before you've mentioned I'm having a face book, uh, a cream on next week because they'll hold you to it, <laughs> okay? Um, how will you show them? So are you going to physically demonstrate them on yourself? Are you going to physically demonstrate them on some of them else? Are you just going to show your hands? Are you just going to, you know, show the product? Um, how, how will you show them? Think about it. Make sure you learn the facts about the products that you want to show. There's nothing worse <laughs> than somebody asking you a question that you don't know the answer to especially if it's a pretty basic question and I mean there's over a thousand products within our business and you'll never learn them all but if you know what products you're showing maybe take some time out to write some notes on some key facts so and um, maybe make a little note of ingredients or the size how many mils is in the bottle all things like that so you're ready to just glance down and say make sure you know the prices Again, have a little, a little sort of note, a little note at the side of you, just saying the product, the price, and any sort of key features that you think people might need to know, or people might ask you about. Find customer reviews to quote about the products. Now, on the Oriflame website, we are very, very lucky to be able to have so many other customers and uh, consultants that have left so many reviews. So use them. When you're going to show a product, go on the Oriflame website and take a look to see if there's a reviews about your products and quote them while you're showing the products, you know, and, and, and really sort of brag about the reviews and how many stars it's had. And this would be recommended by 53 people and all that type of stuff, because that's really going to help you to sell your product. Going on to the fun you're going to have. So what game will you play? Okay, really, really important. So make sure you plan your game, anything. Do you need um, any sort of props? Do you need a pack of cards? Do you, do you need to spin the wheel? You know, when I first started lives, I, I play higher or lower and all my um, 
all my cards would be pinned onto a cork notice board behind me. I've gone a bit more up key now, but, but at the time, and that works, and people absolutely loved it. So just make use of what you've got. Where will you go live? This is really, really important. Make sure you're taking a note of this particular part. Wherever you go live, you have to make sure that it has the ability to be shared. It has to be on a public profile, a public group or a pub, pub, public page, all right, that you also have the rights to, okay? That's, that's really, really important because if you go live into a group or onto a page that you don't have the rights to, then the ownership of that live won't lie with you. It will lie with the person who has the rights to that profile whatever else so that's really important and you need to you know we need to be it needs to be public because we need to have the ability to share this is what's really going to grow this for you is the ability to share when will you go live this is really 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 important as well guys okay so have a look around what's happening around you all right you do not want to be attempting to go live in the middle of a britain's got talent final you won't have any watchers I've done it in an X Factor final and I managed to scrape by it with three and when normally I have 70 to 100 plus. So, so yeah, so really make, a, make yourself aware, have a look at what's on for the sport. Take a look at the TV guide, especially if a sunny, sunny Sunday afternoon. Again, the chance that everyone's going to be out in the sun enjoying with their children and things like that before going back to work and school on the Monday. So really think about what's going on around you before you set the time. Make sure a time and date that you, that you set suits your sponsor on that line, especially in the first few lives that you're doing because they can come on to support you and drum up interest in the comments. My, my uplines did this for me when I first started. They still come on now, but they just come on for a laugh now. But, <laughs> and to support me, obviously, but they don't need to sort of drum up comments anymore, but they can come on and, and just support you, knowing that someone's there that is cheering you on really, really helps. So that's really, really important. How will you entice people to share? Think about how you can get people to share. Are you just going to ask, flatter your eyes and, and ask really nicely and sweetly? Or are you going to promise them an entry into a draw for a five pound scratch card at the end of the month? Um, sometimes, some works better than others. It may be just a few trial and error, but either way, you need to find a way to get these people to share. Maybe it's everyone shares, gets a free sample, or, or everyone who shares goes into a prize draw for, uh, for a pack of free samples, or, or something like that. Okay, so here's the fun part, going live. Act like you're going on the telly, all right? Make sure you're really well presented. Now, Especially we're selling a booty range and we're selling a skincare range. Okay, so you don't want to really be going on a live. Maybe you're a mechanic in your day job and you've rushed in late from work and you've got oil smear, <laughs> smeared up your face because you have no chat. You don't really want to be going on live with that. You want to you wanna be sort of treating it as if you've just been invited to star on point glass. Okay. <laughs> um Check your background. This is really important and you'd be surprised how easy it is to forget this, all right? So, you know, make sure your background is tidy and presentable. Make sure, you know, um, if you've got children, I usually wait until mine are in bed so they're not running around, you know, going crazy in the background. Um, uh, that'll allow you to concentrate. Things like that, you know, is, is your dining room dining table tidy behind you or still got dishes on it that type of thing check your background because the the guys at the other end will see your background okay have all your hat products to hand ready you're going to be walking off from camera oh, i've done a few of this a couple of times to get scissors and batteries and things like that over the years but make sure you've got everything you're going to need for that live ready so you don't have to leave the camera you can just pick it up and, and you're ready to go and sort of work on a system where you pick something up with one hand and you put it down with the other hand because all the products that you've already shown are going to end up on the other side of you so you know what you've got left. If you're not doing a tutorial, keep your products in their packaging and open on air for the very first time. So 
it's, it's so they get excited okay so when they when you're opening the project and you're showing that oh, i can't wait oh, i can't wait i really hope it's as big as i hope it's going to be or, or i really hope that it's the right color for the customer or whatever all right or oh, i can't wait to see these metallic lipsticks oh my gosh i'm so excited and and when you're opening the project, then, you know, I often gasp or I'm like, oh, I love it, that type of thing, because it creates excitement for the viewer, all right? Okay, so have you noticed front of you so you can glance up and down? You will find, once you get into the swim, swing of things, you're just going to be doing this off the cuff. You're just going to be talking and talking and talking and talking as you start to enjoy yourself. But it's really good if you need to sort of glance at any prices or any sort of um product um specifications that it's all going to be there in front of you get your music on and this is a really really good one it's nice to have some music on in the background okay try not to do the music to your taste try and do it to popular taste all right because if you're into heavy metal for example not everyone may be into heavy metal if you're into classical music maybe not everyone will be um into classical music so i tend to hit like i send a stick i've got a playlist me personally i stick with big big sort of songs that everyone loves like you know like things like purple rain and the type of songs that everyone loves to sing along to and half the time i sing along as well i forget i'm live. <laughs> so yeah so get your music on when setting up to go live update your description include what you were offering all right so what demo don't tell them what products but if you're demoing products or if you're doing um you could say if you're demonstrating um eyebrows come and join me and see the secrets behind my own fleek eyebrows or something like that how you're offering it how you're going to offer it all right what they can get out of it so why should they come and watch you and this is normally where we could put in about our bingo game that we're having or uh, if you're playing deal or no deal, or if everyone get if you're playing bingo, or if, or if everyone's going to get a raffle ticket if they buy, things like that. And also another really really important, a bit of legal thing, you need to state about the copyright of the music that you're playing in the background. So you need to state that you don't own any copyright to any background music. Okay. So the next thing to do now is after you've done all that, you're ready. So you need to select your photo filter by going onto your Facebook, clicking live, going underneath, and there's a little button like a frame. Click the frame button and your filter will be there. If you click that, it'll come on. Make sure you line yourself up nicely so you may want to turn your device to the side or things like that to give you a wider screen. And then you click go live. Okay, so we're on the air now. So you need to write a comment in the comment box with any links or PayPal address and pin it. So you need to pin it so it'll come up stuck in effect to the top of the chat box. Okay, now when I say PayPal address, all right, if you're going to be playing bingo and you'd like to charge for it, so, you know, and there are plenty of people who charge for these services or they charge for it. If you're selling raffle tickets, things like that, it's really, really handy to have your PayPal pinned because all you need to do is point and say, Anyone wants a raffle ticket, send one pound each over to the PayPal link below and comment down and I'll give you a number, all right? When you first go on live, it's gonna take a little while for your audience to grow, right? There is an invite feature, so you can invite your friends and family, your sidelines and your, and your app lines and your team to come and join you, okay? So you can invite, you can invite your whole friends list, just be um, mindful that while you're inviting people, okay, they can still see you. Even though you can't see them because the box has popped up most of the screen, they can still see you. While waiting, as people are coming on to the live, okay, it'll come up saying, uh, Claire Kinsella is watching, all right? You know, you'll see that. Um, if any friends come on, they come up in green, Okay, so you're able to say, oh, hi, 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 Claire, come on in, how are you, as they're coming on, all right? Don't wait for them to say hello. Say hello as soon as you see names approaching and always, always use their names. They love a mention, it makes them feel special, okay? Ask how they're doing, remark on the weather. So when they're coming on, as people come on to my lives, you know, oh, hi, hi, Claire, how are you? Oh my gosh, have you enjoyed the sunshine? Hasn't it been a stunning day? And keep doing that, keep going. 
encourage them to say hello in the chat box also as they're coming on make sure you're saying hi let me know you're here let me know if you can hear me we need to start from this point now to encourage people to comment in that chat box as much as we can and i'll explain a little bit about that later on <coughs> so as i said this is a gift that will keep on giving all right ask them to um comment replay so as you're opening remember that after you finish live this is still going to be broadcast out there so you need to address the people of the future in respect all right so you need to say uh if you're catching up on this and you're watching this later on can you please comment replay in the chat box and like this says it is a gift that keeps it'll keep on giving all right it'll keep going this well ask to be shared around and ask them to comment when they are done so you can personally thank them again key you know you need to be shared around there's something i need to make you aware of guys as well when sharing um is there is um, a share to groups option that they can click make clear that you only want to be shared to selling groups okay make clear really appreciate guys if you could sign me to, uh, share me to groups that would be great but please only share me to selling groups because and just make out you know you don't want you don't want to get a banner you don't want anyone sort of um sharing you into a group that we haven't necessarily got approval to be in <coughs> announce any game that you've got running in the beginning and keep referencing it but keep it till the end okay don't play the game immediately or even halfway through because this will keep them on this will keep them coming in as well if you keep referencing to it start your demo and keep things light and fun try not to be too businessy try and be um you know just be yourself when showing your products be dead excited comment on the product and compliment it say what you like and ask them what they think it's really important now we're starting to build that react that interaction sorry with our audience so you really really need to be drumming up comments now this is where it's kicking in the audience is starting to build if applying the product to yourself have a chat while she do oh my god i like the way that makes my eye look or oh look at that girls look look all oh, my bags are gone I have a chat like that and oh what have you been doing today i've had a really busy day been signing people in or whatever you want to talk about but keeping that interaction going keep asking what they think about the products and be amazed and from what i've seen in the products it's really really easy to be amazed so that should be you know really easy to do um get excited crack a joke be yourself and this is the thing is that this is what people share if people think you're funny or if people think that you're super kind if you let people see that version of yourself then that's what's going to make them share you they have to be able to pick up a sort of instant bond with you all right like take a like into you in effect and then they will go out of their way and as i mentioned a bit later on um live watchers and followers are very very loyal so once you've got them on side they will stay on side okay show kindness even if it's to a negative comment um or negative feedback i am forever saying this kill it with kindness if somebody is rude or derogatory you have two options you can my advice is to completely ignore that comment and advise your other watchers to ignore that comment okay if they start because they will stick up for you um if it does happen it's rare but it it, it, it does happen you know on, on rare occasions um so my advice is to you to ignore the comment or you could say you know thank you for your feedback and move on and and that's it act like you're chatting with friends because do you know what here's the thing you soon will be even if you're brand new to this you soon will be chatting with your friends they will become your friends you will have chat to them you will know their kids names you will you will you know know how many pets they've got or where they're going on the holiday you will know all these things because doing this is exactly the same as building a catalog customer base okay so when you go back and forth back and forth it's the same with this so each time when you go in to collect somebody's catalog you get to know them that bit more right so you do the same with these lives so eventually you will be amongst friends okay so start as you mean to go on 
ask everyone where they're from. Again, this is going to build up comments, all right? And if you've got, oh my gosh, I've got to Glasgow. Would you mind sharing me around Glasgow a bit more, please? I haven't got much customers up there. And they will, they will do it. So it's really, really worth it. Ask everyone to comment below in the chat box um, where they're from. Create conversation that will get you comments. So create about, um, talk about, sorry, really, really popular, like, oh, Who's seen Britain Got Talent on Saturday? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Comment below, guys, who's going to win. I've done some really, really silly ones. Like after a night out, I've been to hairdressers, I've had my hair back combed, and I've stuck it up in a bobble and done a live the next day. And I've actually pulled my hair down and gone live and said, who do you guys think I look like? And I thought I looked a bit like Hagrid. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so they were all guessing who they thought I looked like. So that was, so, yeah, you know, just work with what you've got. It's worth it. Is um yes, what I'm trying to get across, just 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 try and create, you know, conversation or or say um how many products you think I can I've got in this in this kit for $59.99. Guess below how many products, things like that to get them guessing and they'll bump your comments up. Ask people to react to a product or live. So what do you think, guys? Give me a like if you like it or please react with love and share me around, things like that. Because again, that's going to bump you onto more people's timelines. The more likes, the more watches and the more comments your life has, the further it's going to spread. And the, the idea, well, the main sort of, um, oh, I don't know, prize would be for your video to go viral. If your video went viral, then that would just be the main prize. Okay, so keep making references to the game that you've got coming up. That's to keep people interested. And also you will find that people may join halfway through and things like that. And the chances are, especially in the early days when you're starting this up, your audience may be different at the end to how it started off. And that's quite often the case. You need to keep referencing these things quite often throughout the lives. And don't worry about repeating yourself because people who watch live videos um, and live broadcasts are used to the, the need for being repetitive. Keep an eye in the chat box and answer any questions, comments. It's really easy to get carried away, especially if you're doing makeup and things. So make sure you, or if you're demonstrating a product, make sure you're glancing down every couple of minutes and make sure you sort of clock with your eye where you last left off and make sure then maybe touch the screen and have a scroll to make sure you're picking up where you left off so you're not missing anything because you could be missing an order. Okay. Um, where am I? Take notes on any orders, really important. You can also use your order pad app. Um, the Oriflame order pad app would be perfect for this. Um, just so you can sort of put them on then immediately after you finish live. Make reference to the opportunity often, but nothing too heavy. So, oh gosh, it's been such an amazing day. I've signed in four, four new team members today. And oh my gosh, they just thought you have to be in love with the products. Who can blame them as well? It's opportunity for free, things like that. Or um, maybe you could say something like, um, you know, how, 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 how would you guys feel about sort of joining up? Or don't forget, I'm recruiting in such and such. Or, or I really need a, a, a team member in this area or, or whatever. Or somebody says, I'm from. I could really do with a team member in that area. You don't know anyone, do you? Things like that. Just make little references throughout the life. When people order, give them a raffle ticket to be put in a free price draw. Um, there's a few different things you can do with this. Some people do envelopes. Um, you don't have to do this. It's just an idea and it's just sort of rewarding. So some people do like, um, like they've got like a, maybe some envelopes, maybe 20 envelopes. They've got all different prizes in them. So you might have a banana. You might have double your luck. You might have 10% off your next order. You might, and they get to choose an envelope when they order and that works really really well you'd be surprised how many people are desperate to be able to choose an envelope and keep reminding people to share again because your audience is going to keep moving okay you need to keep reminding people to hit that share button and thanking them as well afterwards things to include whilst you're live at the end of your live remind everyone the following things to join your group now don't forget you've got your banner there with your group blazons on top of it you've got your bin pin post sorry with your group link blazons on top of it so if you're not broadcasting from your group and you're broadcasting from your personal page 
or a business page, then you need to make sure that you're getting everyone in the group. Ask again to be shared around and remind them if you've got any benefits on that would suit them for sharing around. Ask them to take a look at your booty shop. Again, your link's on your banner, your link's going to be in your pin post so they can access that nice and easy. Explain the elite customer scheme. So explain that, you know, if you if you like a few of my products today, you know, I can I can set you up and save you between 20 and 35% discount as an elite customer. Um, comment replay if watching it back again. Um, so you're sort of um that bumps it up in effect as people comment replay and you also know who's taking the time to watch you afterwards picture opportunity don't go in too heavy don't go in with um circles or or anything like that or or diagrams you know just picture opportunity you know but guys don't forget you know um if you if you like what you've seen tonight and you think you could do the same or you think you just like to sell a bit of stuff between your family and friends or you'd like to put some catalogs out you can join me for free please hit me up and I can give you a full information about that and just, you know, lightly pitch it, okay? Make sure you tell them when you're going to be live next, okay? And make sure that you tell them to make sure that they're in, they're, they're friends with you or they've liked your business page so they'll get the notification. Thank everyone for being there with you. Remark on how much fun you've had and how you have enjoyed everyone's company. And again, that's really, really important. You need people are taking the time out from EastEnders to come and sit with you and, and watch you. So that's really important. So thank you to everyone. After your live, you need to, after your live, okay, you can stop the live and then you need to click post, okay? If you don't click post, then that, that live will pang into cyberspace along with all the comments and all the hard work getting all the likes and all the shares that you've just done so you absolutely need to be able to put you need to remember to post that video once you've posted it now this can be a little bit time consuming if you've got maybe over a thousand comments but it's absolutely worth it all right it doesn't have to be done straight away you can maybe do it when you settle down later on in the evening but go back onto the live once you've posted it and react or like or love or a laughy face or whatever to everyone's comments this does two things okay one it bumps it up again because it's now creating hundreds of likes the more comments you have the more likes you're able to give yourself Two, facebook can see that you're giving back all right that you're taking the time to put more likes onto your posts and things like that so that's going to help your reach and three that's going to mean so much to your viewers and watchers and the people who commented that you've taken the time to go back and like or react to every comment so that's really worth doing. After you posted it, change the description and put on the top, no longer live. If you'd like more information, please PM me for details on products or the opportunity. That's really important as well. And also, um, it avoids anyone sort of coming on afterwards and shouting at you because you're not saying hello to them because they don't realize that it's no longer live and that can happen quite a bit and like, why aren't you why aren't you acknowledging me why aren't you saying hello when you're actually not still live so by doing that you know it's saving any embarrassment for both you and the viewer um message everyone that is ordered thanking them for their order and to arrange payment and delivery make sure you send them a link to your booty store confirm they are in your group and mention the elite customer scheme again to them okay guys really really important that you do that you reach out quite quickly after you finish live so building a massive following i just love this picture so how to build a massive big huge following of people okay so following of watchers now we're talking about okay guys so share your live into 10 selling groups and your own and your own selling group once it's finished okay so you can say please share um or whatever and just just share it in yourself copy the link and share it in yourself make sure the platform is always 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 set to public okay because otherwise you can't get shared around and you're not, you're not going to build a big following it's just going to remain um to the people who have access within your privacy settings that you've set up yourself make sure you put it on your own timeline if you haven't already gone live from your timeline okay be consistent if you're gonna go live tomorrow at eight make sure you go live tomorrow at eight 
that okay now obviously if something big comes up then they will be really understanding but especially in the beginning when you're just building up this following okay you need to be sure that you're you know coming good on promises that you're making to come live because people actually really look forward to seeing you make sure you kill it with kindness again mentioning it from before you know I kill everything with kindness it's sort of it's my motto for life and for business and and yeah you know no matter what sort of throws that at you through the live and if you can't manage words or whatever just be sure to smile okay um you know and think about as well the way you're speaking to people you know sometimes in certain things especially when you're just getting to know some somebody you know they can take offense at things so try and keep everything quite neutral um always have fun it's really really important to have fun you, you know if you're enjoying your viewers are going to be enjoying as well don't be afraid to laugh yourself if you make a mistake. They love it when things go wrong. I am telling you, if anything can make a live video go viral, it's when something goes wrong. I remember doing a video where my goal board fell on my head, all different things, and those are the ones that have had the most watches. Um, and don't be afraid if you do make a mistake to laugh and say, what am I like? Because, you know, they need to see that you're real at the end of the day. You're a human being. And you're a human, but, you know, you're a person. And everyone makes some mistakes. And, if you're laughing they'll feel more inclined to laugh along with you and put laughing reactions than they will if you don't laugh they might feel a bit awkward plug your next live date everywhere so create an event in your group put it on your business page if you have one put it on your um facebook on your personal facebook ask your friends maybe just share it around from your personal facebook tag people in in your group are you coming to my live again this week that type of thing and that's going to create your regular followers create a routine so if you sort of um say right every morning i'm going to get up and i'm going to do my makeup ready for my day live on air at 11 o'clock so people know then oh such and such is about to come on right and they'll end up fitting you into their routine okay and they'll end up being with you every time even daily lives you'll be amazed so if you create a routine they know and if they can set their watch by you then you find that they'll often adapt their routine around you um where was i remember and follows are loyal they're absolutely loyal to the death they they really 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 are once you've got them and you've struck that bond with them and you know and all these little things like mentioning their name as well or you know oh you mentioned the other day denise that your dog was poorly is he better now taking an interest taking that time is going to create that bond and they will become extremely loyal to you just as your catalog customers would if you're going out building a catalog in business send regular watches friends request so my rule is to watch five times you get a friend's request that's what i basically base this on so then as my friend then they can see anything i'm sharing on my personal wall in regards to my business anything i'm sort of promoting and they're quite happy normally to also promote it for you as well always mention people by name and alive make them feel special they'll keep coming back and it is exactly that it is it is what it says on the tin. Um, pe make people feel like they're part of a community. And this is your community that you're building now. And, and, and they will keep coming back. Be true to yourself. Okay. Don't feel like you've got to go and plaster on fake eyebrows and big red lippy. Just because if you don't feel comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Be respectful of the brand. All right. So, you know, um, when you again when you're getting shared you know make sure you're in selling and selling groups all right in regards to um when you're when you're marketing the product you know even if you don't particularly like the product still still sell its benefits okay um and you could also as well create a youtube youtube channel all right to upload any videos um that you sent and you could sort of ask people to follow you because with a youtube video they're all there with the youtube channel so they're all there and they can catch up at any time and any lives that they may have missed so do's and don'ts of going live do share so do share yourself around okay really important make sure to be yourself do be yourself don't don't pretend or attempt to pretend to be anything that you're not all right because you just find this exhausting to keep up 
and you won't feel you'll never feel confident and comfortable doing these lines okay so it's really important to be yourself do play to your own strengths again like i said in the beginning you know if you're really good at telling jokes if you're a good singer if you've got a lovely hair if you've got lovely hands make sure you're showcasing these strengths off do have fun have a laugh have a joke be merry together and create that community Kill it with kindness, even with the most negative, negative of people still smile and say thank you very much for your feedback. Even though you may be doing it behind gritted teeth, your other watchers will really, really, really admire you for doing it. Don't think about how you look. Do think about how you look and how you hold yourself. Okay, now this is really, really important one. Like I did mention in the beginning, you know, make sure you're sort of um, well groomed and well turned out, how you hold yourself. So. I've said this before so many times, so the difference between saying yes and yeah. So can I have one of those, please, Sarah? Yeah. Can I have one of those, please, Sarah? Yes, of course. I'll add it to my order and I'll mess you after the light to confirm everything. Which one sounds better? So try and be, just have a little think about, you know, how you look and how you're holding and presenting yourself. And do take on any feedback. So if somebody says, Sarah, that light might have been a bit long, and take that into consideration for the next time. Ask the others how they feel, the regular watches on the light. If somebody says, oh, I really fancy that lipstick in the catalogue, but I don't know. Will you be able to order a sample and show it next week's live? Absolutely, of course I can. You know, things like that. Go out of your way to sort of um, get everyone's request. oh my gosh, just gone alive, I really want to get 100,000 views, I'm going to go and put my video into 100 selling groups. You will get yourself a block for a start, and you will also, you know, be marked as spam, and so will you live, and it won't be no use to them and to anybody, so don't spam. Don't be derogatory to any other business, okay? Hold your heads up high, all you need to concentrate on is your business. If anyone mentions any other business to you, you know, my answer is always, this is, this is the product we're talking about and I bring them back, okay? And don't join in and say, oh yeah, their product is rubbish. Look at ours, we've got 20 more mil in our bottle. Don't, don't, don't buy into that because you create a different type of community than what you really want. Don't swear, okay? <laughs> it is what it says. Don't swear or use any derogatory language. Don't react negatively to any negative feedback. As I said, just smile. Thank you for your feedback and move on with your comment. Don't get dragged into any drama. So if there's any drama going on in the chat between um, members or between watchers, don't feel the pressure to join in and say, oh, you pack it in. Just leave them, get on with it and carry on going with what you're doing. Don't single one person out from the rest. So you may have somebody and you will find actually that you warm to some people more than others maybe. And as we all do in all walks of life and you will find that maybe um, one particular person who really works hard for you, okay? We've all got one um, within our group. Mine's called Denise. And it's really, really hard not to single her out sometimes because she does so, so much for me. But it's about being appreciative just towards Denise in effect, she's the, the one that helps me with my group. She's a customer, brilliant customer. It's about being appreciative of Denise and learning the others to be appreciative of Denise of what she's done, but try not to sort of single out. You want to create a sort of um, equal community. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, that's because that's, if you're enjoying yourself and you're really relaxed and you're letting your hair down, then you're going to relax your audience and that's what you want because people won't buy if they're feeling a bit nervous okay so here's my top tips don't under oh, sorry i lost my words then don't underestimate the power of planning okay so really really important i've explained to you how to plan a live make sure you use it because um especially if you've not done it before um you know going in blind um may not pay off as well so you need to know what you're doing and it's really good to take a good half hour out of your day to plan uh your 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 life Push your comfort zone each time. I love to hate this one, but each time I do something on my life that's gonna make me feel a bit, ooh, but I still do it. Um, and by doing that, I'd be able to develop the confidence that I've got now. So if you start off just 
um, showing a product and not talking on a demo video and then next time you talk and then next time you show your hands and then next time you might introduce yourself and then turn the camera take it up a notch every time and you'll soon find that you you know you're partying like a pro you're live like a pro always 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 smile always have the biggest smile on your face a smile speaks a thousand words be friendly and courteous remember your manners and your p's and q's plug products and i love this one so say now you know well if you're using your hands to demonstrate a product if the camera's going to be up close to your hands what do you think guys i've been using this new hand cream for a week and it lovely and my skin feels so soft ladies we have fantastic nail varnishes get them on your fingers <laughs> Demonstrate. What do you think of this? I love this colour. This is new. It's only three fifty a bottle. Does anyone else want one? They bargain and they things like that. Okay. So plug your product. Make reference to what you sold that week. So, for example, monkey see, monkey do, right? So if you make reference to, oh gosh, girls, you know, see this eyeliner by her. I sold twenty five this week. Can you believe it? Everyone's loving it and this and then, and people got twenty five. Good guy, one of them. You may not have sold 25. You may have only sold 20, maybe. But monkey see, monkey do. So, yeah, make reference to what you've sold that week or anything that you think that's hot, make reference to. So, again, share what's hot. So, you know, if something's flying off the shelves, make sure your customer's aware of it and aware that, you know, how hot it is because you don't want them coming to you in a week's time and saying, oh, well, I had that on my order, but I wasn't giving you my order till Friday, and it's out of stock. So make sure you're sharing what's hot. Keep up to date with any trends and bring it into your life. So keep up to date with um, sort of um, any makeup trends, any new looks that are out. Um, keep a little one eye on E. If you're, if you're a lady doing makeup tutorials, um, bring, try and recreate celebrity looks. Um, Try and sort of um, look at the reviews uh, online, you know, any reviews towards sort of this cream is better than Clarins or, or something like that, that you can bring into your life and sell and, 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 and demonstrate and sell off the back of that. Make references to how many team members you have as it goes up. So this is drip feeding information. So I may do a live this Monday and I may have 35 team members and then I may go next Monday and oh gosh, I've got 45 team members now. Everyone's loving this business and the regular watchers will see your growth and eventually they're going to have a conversation with you and they're going to say, how much are you earning now, Sarah? I remember when you only had 12 team members, now you've got 150 what's what's going on and they will make that reference eventually so it's really important to drip feed the information because they've already going to have the knowledge of the products because they've been watching you all this time demonstrating them be on fleek <laughs> be on fleek okay so what i mean is is ladies you know make sure you know your sort of if you're demonstrating um an eye product for example or or an eyeshadow and you're sort of zooming up to, to your eye make sure the area around your eye is what nicely presented you're presented try and be um young if you're young if you're a youngster try and be sort of i'm not so young anymore but try and be sort of down with the kids and have the latest luck or create the latest looks um be on point we want this to be for everyone maybe set a day that you know you use the 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 um anti-aging type thing so you can just show a whole range of products to appeal to a whole a whole lot of people okay so there's something for everyone Establish a catchphrase that you will be known for. So there's a few things that I sort of say. My accent really helps me with this one. Um, that I sort of say, so booty is one of them. Um, joking. So if somebody's got a joking, a, a fake pair of eggs, I tend to say they're joking eggs, things like that. And people, they normally sort of dead funny things that, that you know that um that people sort of catch on to and they find hysterical and it becomes sort of what you're known for um make yourself a product so you know tell them 
what products you use, what products you love, what ones you use regular, sell them that way. Um, if you've got any products, so say you might be demonstrating that day some hand cream, but make sure if you've got the products there that you've got a full face of Oriflame makeup so you can make reference to or, or you've got, um, maybe you've been, maybe you're demonstrating just some sunglasses or some bags or something, you know, or if you're a gent and you've been using the, the skincare range for men and make reference to look at my skin. I know Craig White done that a couple of days ago on one of his on one of his lives and it really got us all, you know, oh that looks really good. So so yeah, so that's it from me. If you want any more information, please, please, please um ask me. Um please sorry, my daughter tried to come in then. Please, please, please um ask your sponsor, sorry for any more information. And good luck with it all. Hope to see you all live soon. Bye.